What's up? Joel Klatt here. Getting ready for the 2022 NFL Draft. Let's take a look at defense. Defense. All right. Who are my top 10 defenders available this year? Here's what you're going to see in these 10 names. A lot of guys that are going to hopefully, for these franchises, stop guys like Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and Justin Herbert and, and Joe Burrow and Matt Stafford. You know why? Listen, if you're going to succeed in this league, you better get to the quarterback and defend the pass. So let's take a look at who my top 10 uh, players are available that are defensive players. Defensive end Jermaine Johnson from Florida State, terrific player. Trent McDuffie, corner from Washington. A lot of people love Trent McDuffie. They say he's a very clean prospect, kind of plug and play, can maybe play the slot if you need him to early as like a third corner option. So he'll be on the field quite a bit. Uh, come his rookie year. Trayvon Walker, I have him at eight. I think that right now he's he's doing nothing but rising, in particular after his show at the Combine and his pro day with his speed, athleticism, explosiveness, his ability to be versatile. Remember, he's 6'5", 270 pounds. He can get after the quarterback from the edge, and he can also drop back, and he's comfortable in space. So that versatility uh, is going to mean that that he can affect the game in a lot of ways right away as a rookie. Nicobe Dean, I love what he brings to the table. The speed that you saw, you saw in the national championship game. Sideline to sideline, this guy flies around the field. Derek Stingley, if you would have done this list before last year or even after his freshman season at LSU, you would have probably put him at like number one or number two. Uh, so he's fallen a little bit. The Liz Frank injury is, is interesting because remember now, Liz Frank is something that lingers. This is not like an ACL that we've seen a lot of people heal from, get the surgery, and they come back better. Stingley is the type of guy that has a lot of length and athleticism. He was easily the top corner as a freshman in college football, but with the Liz Frank injury, you just didn't, don't know about his change of direction and what he can do. Great against the, the uh, big receivers because he's physical and has the length, and then he's terrific with the ball in the air. Look at him attack the football. So like I said, this guy could easily be the best corner in the draft. And because of those injuries concerns, he wasn't on the field a, a lot. He slipped a little bit. What does that mean? Value. He's going to be a valuable commodity when it comes to this draft time uh, at number six on my list. Devin Lloyd, the linebacker from Utah. Remember, Utah had historically great year from them. Uh, ended in that loss to Ohio State in the Rose Bowl. But a big reason why they were able to get over that hump, win the Pac-12, is Devin Lloyd. Uh, terrific human being. I met him at the Lot Impact Awards. Great family, uh, and I'm certainly rooting for him. And he's a terrific player and a guy that's going to do really well in the National Football League. Now you get to the top four defenders. It's all about edge and, and on the outside defending the pass. Kayvon Thibodeau from Oregon at number four. At number three, this is one of my favorite guys. Ahmad Sauce Gardner, the corner from Cincinnati. This guy is rising quickly up draft boards. His meetings went great in Indianapolis with those teams. And it, this is the type of player that has the physicality and the change of direction movement on the outside. Great with his hands. He just is... He's terrific on the outside. You don't see him get beat all that often. He's fluid for a big, long corner. And when you look at his length, he can come off the edge right here. He gets the sack in the backfield. But he's got great length. He's got strong hands. Everything you want in an NFL corner, this guy is going to bring you. Look at the explosiveness. Again, another sack there, and this one's for the, the strip variety. So Sauce Gardner very well could be a top five pick in this year's NFL draft. At number two, Kyle Hamilton. The safety from Notre Dame. I know he had an injury late in his college career there with the Irish, but he is phenomenal. I love Aiden Hutchinson. He's my number one. You can just reveal him. I think everyone knows who number one is. So Aiden Hutchinson is number one at, at, at Michigan, but Kyle Hamilton, he's one of my favorite players in the draft, and the reason is is because he is the total package. So yes, he's a great player on the field, and he's versatile, and he can play that safety position, and he can do things like come down and play against the run, but he's also terrific against the pass. Watch him attack the ball, cover all the way down the field. He's got great length, so this, versa this versatile length player, you hear that so much in the draft. Why is it so important? Well, in this day and age, folks, what you see is offenses changing personnel groups almost on a snap-in and snap-out basis. They go from three tight ends to three wide receivers. And so you're in a pass set one down, then you're on a heavy run set the next down. You need players that can defend both. Versatile, hybrid-style players. I think Hamilton fits that bill. 
He can sit out there in a nickel package and play safety. He can play deep safety. He can come down and play heavy, strong safety. And then when they, when the opposition, when the offense gets big and they put a couple of tight ends in, they put a couple of running backs in, and they need to run the ball, he's big enough and sturdy enough that he can stay in the game and play that four strong safety position. Hybrid, length, versatile, all these names are perfect. And, and Hamilton's got the instincts the football character, the football IQ, all of it. He checks every single box. I'm not going to be surprised if Hamilton goes number two in the draft overall to the Lions. Now, he might slip down because safety need doesn't really trump edge need. So you might see an edge rusher taken by the Lions there at number two. But rest assured, Hamilton's going to be in the discussion. If Hutchinson goes one to the Jaguars, Hamilton's going to be in the discussion at number two with the Lions, maybe even three with the Texans, and then you're going to get some of those other edge rushers. Lots of great players here defensively available in this draft. But the theme is you better stop those great quarterbacks in this league. How do you do that? Off the edge and with great length on the outside, these guys have it.